<clears throat> Excuse me? Huh. I figured since a lot of people have already made these types of videos, I thought I'd make one too. So yes, this is my coming out story. And I guess technically it's not really a coming out story. I, t I technically did not come out to my parents the way how other people did. Like, to be honest, I was never gonna let my parents know. They actually found out because my sister is so nosy. So here's the story. My sister, who doesn't live with us because she's grown, um, she was going through surgery for something, I don't exactly remember what, but she was going through surgery, she doesn't live with us, she lives in Florida, I live in Virginia, so my dad, who's also her dad, had to go stay with her, right, because she's a single mom and she needs somebody to take care of her. So long story short, while my dad was visiting her, um, she showed him my Facebook because we're friends on Facebook, and I have posted a few LGBT stuff on my Facebook page, and that's basically how he found out, because my nosy sister told him everything about me on Facebook. Wow. Like, that just goes to show you, you know, don't add your family on Facebook. That is like the number one rule. Don't add family on Facebook. Um, but yeah, my parents actually took it pretty well, I would say. Um, that's like the really crazy thing about all this is that like, unfortunately, some parents just aren't as supportive as others. You know, I'm really lucky my parents still support me after finding out about it, but yeah, I feel really bad for the people who don't have, you know, nice parents like that. You know, it must be really hard for them. I can only imagine, right? <sighs> it's tough, you know? It's really tough. But, I mean, things usually do always get better. You know, you just gotta keep telling yourself that things always get better. They always have to get better. You know, you just gotta stay optimistic. Um, on a side note, I'm actually kind of glad that we don't all have the same worldviews because, like, if everyone felt the same way about everything, then this world would be so boring, right? We'd all have the same interests, the same likes and dislikes, you know? There would be no diversity, you know? So I'm, I'm actually really glad that we don't all like the same things. However, however, there is a nice, respectful, mature way to disagree with people. And I feel like that's the thing that a lot of people don't understand, right? Like, I understand, especially when it comes from religious backgrounds, right? Because I definitely do not come from a religious background. I can totally understand why a religious person wouldn't like me. So honestly, what I would do is just try to, you know, stay away from people like that. Which is actually kind of hard because I'm attending a religious college right now. But most of the people I've met from that college are actually really nice. They're really, really nice. Um, but yeah, there is a respectful way to disagree with people. You don't have to support LGBT, but you don't have to hate it either. You know, just because you don't like something doesn't mean you automatically hate it, right? For example, I am not a fan of Marvel or DC, even though millions of people are, Unfortunately, I am not a fan of Marvel or DC. However, just because I don't like it doesn't mean that I hate it. I really like a lot of the Marvel and DC characters. I just don't care to watch the movies. You know, I just don't- I don't care. I don't like it the way other people do. But I don't hate it though, right? Exactly, I don't hate anything. Okay, I do hate some things, but not Marvel or DC. I'm actually gonna go off on a little side tangent right here. So, I really wanted to go to college to learn how to, you know, animate and eventually get a degree in animation, right? Um, technically, I already know how to animate, but in order to get into the industry, it would help if you had a bachelor's, right? So yeah, I'm going to college. However, the college I'm going to is a religious college. It's a Christian college. I think I actually failed one of my classes because it's about Christianity and I'm not a religious person, so 
I might have failed that class, I don't know. But yeah, so far I've learned so much stuff about Christianity and honestly, I just, you know, I, I just really don't care about religion. I mean, I don't know if I just offended somebody, but I just don't care, you know? I don't care about race, skin color, I don't care about your ethnicity, your background, you know. I just want to be nice to people. That's all I care about is being nice, you know? I don't care what you look like. As long as you're nice to me, that's all that truly matters, right? Exactly. That's all that should matter. I don't care what type of people you like. I just want to be friends. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess here's a little funny story. Um, so I've been in college for only one semester so far, and I really like it because I get to study animation and stuff. However, like I said before, it is a religious college. It's a Christian university, so you're required to take like all these Christian classes along with, you know, your majors too, like art and filmmaking and stuff, which is really cool. But yeah, a lot of stuff in Christianity deals with one man and one woman, and there is no LGBT at all, which is really sad. But, um, I'm gonna try and wrap up this story. So I actually met this really cute guy. You know, he's a year older than me, he's really nice, really sweet, and he's really cute. However, however, <laughs> I got a text from him. Basically, like, he also follows me on Facebook, and he saw that I posted some LGBT stuff, so then he texted me, and he was all like, oh, I didn't know you supported LGBT. So I basically told him the truth. I told him what I was. I told him I was bisexual. Yo, he gave me, like, the longest text message I have ever received in my entire life. He basically gave me, like, a whole history lesson about, you know, God and stuff. But it wasn't- it wasn't in a serious type of way. Um, the really funny thing about this guy is that, like, he tends to ramble on a lot. You know, he's really cute, but he rambles, like, all the time. It's ridiculous. But yeah, he was actually really cool. You know, he wasn't mean, he wasn't rude. Um, he did say he can't support it, but he doesn't hate it. Like, he's not anti-LGBT, you know. So yeah, like, honestly, that means I can't be with him, because if he's not going to accept me for who I really am, I can't be with him. But he was so nice about it, you know. He didn't say one mean or rude thing to me. It was amazing. You know, like, we just need to find more people like that. Those are the people we should be trying to make our friends, you know. So, yeah, college is going great. I have a lot of great friends. My friends support me. You just need to find people who support you. You know, I recently downloaded the Amino app and so far I've been posting a lot of LGBT content on several different Aminos and pretty much everyone loves them, you know? Amino is like a really great place to find people who share the same interests as you, which is really nice. This video is not sponsored, by the way. I'm just talking about how great it is, but it's not sponsored. Um, yeah. This video is kind of going on, so I might as well wrap it up here. I just hope that if you're watching this video and you haven't, like, come out to anyone, hopefully you'll find the courage to do so, and if people don't support you, then I guess that's their problem. You don't need them in your life. And I guess if it's your parents who don't support you, like, I just, I feel really bad and I hope you can get through it. I hope you and your parents can still be friends, you know, because I don't really know what that's like to not have your parents support you. But I just really hope you can stay happy and just continue to be who you are and continue to do really great things. Thank you so much for watching this video, and goodbye.